Retailers say shoppers took to the stores as never before today and spent record amounts of money. Queues started forming at shopping centres in Bristol, Birmingham and Leeds in the early hours of the morning. And the Selfridges chain says it expects takings to peak at £1.3 million an hour. Sky Scotland correspondent James Matthews joined the search for a deal north of the border. On Boxing Day morning, there were a few still in search of a Christmas thrill. For many more, the hunt was on for a bargain. The decision to follow the crowds to the Christmas sales is one made easier this year by hard economic times. Everybody's finding it a bit tight just now, so we knew that coming to the sales would save a good bit of money. Yeah, if you can save money now, uh, it means you've got more for essentials later on, like food. <laughs> Cost of living's going up, all things are going up. So you just do your best to try and save as much as you can. For a retail industry wanting rescued after a tough year, this was the cavalry. The charge at Selfridges in central London was duplicated in stores nationwide as millions stormed the shop floor for cut price deals. As far as Christmas is concerned and trading generally, um, Last week for all retailers was um, really the perfect storm, a full week um, with Christmas Eve falling on the Saturday. And we had an exceptional uh, week last week, so we're actually quite delighted with today and last week's sales. As busy as it's been today, the Christmas sales alone won't bail out the retail industry. The figures show that increasingly on the high street, it is a hard sell. Retailers had been hoping for a wave of late sales in the run-up to Christmas after a slow start to the month. But one estimate suggested the number of shoppers out on Christmas Eve was almost 5% down on last year. Many have cut out the high street altogether, with online sales up 12%. According to analysts, more than £180 million was spent over the internet on Christmas Day. Christmas is critical for retailers, all the rents are due in January, how they fare up in the lead up to Christmas, obviously the sales after will really determine what they're going to in 2012. It's critically important the shoppers get out and spend over the next couple of weeks and obviously retailers are enticing them in with some pretty good discounts. It's very much a shopper's market this sales period. Only when the pennies are counted will we know fully how the shops have performed this festive season. It'll dictate to a large extent what shape they're in to tackle the coming months. On a few short days of trading this Christmas, hinges a long year before the next one. James Matthews, Sky News, Edinburgh.